irritatingly enough, uh, the camera keeps, or the internet keeps um, cutting out. It's very, very annoying. So, whatever we get to this time, we're just going to stop there. But in the last video, we did manage to actually complete the game, and this is just bonus missions from this point onwards. So, um, okay, so we've got the Mirror Realm versions of things. Um, we also have this one, Escape from the Mystic Realm, which is new. Tomorrow is being pursued. Oh, okay. Right, so I get what this is. We've got one here. Mirror Realm. I'm interested, this is our nine tails. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of them, at least. Um, even more missions, okay. Uh, Baron is still here. Um, so I think that. Whoa, this one actually wants me to play as Tamaro, or Tamamo, even. Um, Tamamo is being pursued by the officers of the Mystic Realm. Work with Semi Abe and Subo Kong to escape these pursuers. So I think this one here might be the first time that she was sealed away um, because as you can see here, chapter 7 is the earliest point in the story. Um, so chapter 1 basically starts with, um, you know, Orochi having taken over and then that's why you proceed all the way through here and then you travel back in time to here before he takes over then you have to go back into the future to try and defeat Orochi. And then once you've defeated him, then this part here goes into um, uh, the gods interfering, and then this part here goes all the way up to Sisano and things. Um, I don't know, maybe maybe it's just this part here is Sisano. Not sure. It's been a while. Um, but then chapter six, you know, is all about tomorrow. Then you've got all, all the way right back into the past. Um, back into like the mystic realm, you know, back in the time of the gods. And then uh, after that, that leads right into the very, very future, the very latest point, which is what we just did there, uh, which was chapter 8. But we're going to go into this one, which is a brand new story, because the other ones are just mirror versions of missions we've already done. But this one here is... Uh, new, so we're going to do that, and we're going to do this on Chaos. So Tamamo had performed one evil deed after another, and had been pursued at every turn by the warriors of the Mystic Realm again and again. She had been cornered, but each time she managed to escape, but throughout her flight, her magical power had gradually been weakened. Yet Tamara was unable to end her evil ways. The anger and sorrow of others were what filled, fueled her life force. Deceiving others and causing them to fight among themselves was the only way she could continue her existence. There were people approaching Tao, Semi Abe and Su Wukong. Certainly she thought these people would be trying to get close to her. She was on her guard, but Semi and Wukong spoke to her amiably. After a lifetime spent deceiving others, she was unable to trust anyone. Yet she was all yet also was she unable to continue in her flight alone any longer. Tamo accepted the proposal with the intention of using them as pawns. Why do you insist on following me? What are you up to? I want to help, that's all. I cannot let you in on the details, but I was once helped by a mystical fox in the past. I can sense the fox within you. If you are somehow linked to the mystical fox, then I do wish to do what I can to help you. Do you really expect me to believe such a story? Go at him, you can trust me. I want my revenge against those fools from this realm. Sure, I may have caused some mischief, but that was no reason to throw me into such confined space like that. That's why I want to pay the badges one more. Me helping you out would cause, would cause trouble for them, would it not? Okay. Very well, truth be told, I am in need of a military strength at the current time. If you don't want me to believe you, then go out and defeat the mystics. Um, however, if you fail me, know that I will show no mercy. 
All right, leaves me. Don't no worry, we shall be sure to live up to your expectations. Okay, very good. Ah, Jacob Cash is back. Welcome. Welcome, Jacob Cash. So let's accept missions. All nice and simple. Um, I think since this is a chaos level, we're going to use the battlefield bonus. We use the battlefield bonus to acquire powerful items. Um, no, you know what? Maybe not. Because I think you might need to set up specific things in order to get the most out of that. Um, <clears throat> and also I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing this level, so I don't really want to go wasting that. Especially since it does cost 100,000. So let's just jump right in and we'll see what's happening. I think Neza is my favourite character in this game. Especially the Cyber Neza. I should maybe get off this horse. It is. Uh, this is chaos difficulty. So this is the Mystic Realm. This is the equivalent of heaven that we're fighting in, and we have to fight against um, what are essentially angels. That's what the Mystic Army is. Man, there is a lot of them. Okay, I think that's a barrier put up, so we can't pass that. Yeah, barrier has appeared. and defeat um, Fuzu. Very much paying close attention to my life here and making sure that um, I'm not just going to accidentally get killed. The thing is, the more enemies I've got, the more health I'll gain by just killing people. There we go, I'm back to full health again. You guys stop running away. Okay, so where are we going? Okay, well there's Sue Kong up there. Okay, there's lots of people over here. Yeah, this is, uh, Jacob Cash is saying, um, this game looks awesome, he loves when you can just, like, take down entire armies of people, um, paraphrasing, because I can't look down <laughs> the comment, but, um, yeah, no, I've always loved the, the Warriors, the Rochi games, the Dynasty Warriors, and the Samurai Warrior games, um, it's, it's basically what I do to relax, you know, um, just destroying entire full-on armies of people, uh, with, no real particular- oh my goodness, that did a lot of damage. I was about to say with no real particular effort, but <laughs> then I just got hit by a blister. It's a good thing I noticed that blister, because uh, that could have done some serious damage if I didn't move out of the way of that thing. And even there, something just took off a quarter of my health. I think there may be some arrow guys over here. 
hiding amongst these. Uh, there we go. Let's go over here. The sandals appeared. Oh my goodness. Oh, we just take on Sasano? Or we may just be running away from Sasano? I'm not sure. But either way, here it comes. Sasano has the custom colours on him as well. Whoa, that was a lot of damage there. Neza's down to red health. That's what happens if you. Stop looking for like a second. Nezza's appeared. Okay, there's Nezza himself. Try and kill some people in Nezza to get some health back. Okay, cool. Um, so now that we've done that. Some health, so much. Okay, there. Um, Tao, I've taken care of all the people you want me to take care of. What am I supposed to do now? So, increase the measure. It's not what we needed. Um. Oh, I can just destroy these. <laughs> I didn't realise that these were destructible. Okay, successfully destroyed the wall. That's what we were supposed to do. Is this also a destructible wall? I'm going to swap character just in case something ambushes me. Okay. Cool, we're all in here now. Where are we going? Tamo, you need to be the one to tell me where we're going. These walls aren't breaking. Oh, this is a breakable wall. Okay. some people. We're getting some help. Good. You can see there's more people down here. There's a wall in the way. Is this really what we're supposed to do? Is that the best way to take care of walls? Oh well, lots of people. Destroy this wall? Just destroying any walls that I can find. Okay, successfully destroyed the wall. Did 
Try and take out anyone that looks like they are a potential problem. I can see those people in there, but how do I get to those people? Probably destroy these walls. And for anyone just tuning in, um, or that decided to skip this far on YouTube, uh, these are the secret last levels um, of the game after the game has already been completed, and we are playing it on the highest difficulty, this is Chaos, which um, is very, very strong. So, I assume we're destroying this one? To the last part now that we're out of that maze. Okay, so we're supposed to try and get into here. Okay, doors open. Okay. See that there's some enemies in here, including some gods like Tigon Wong that was uh, right there. There's a lot of guys in here. Oh no, they turned on her.
She doesn't look very sealed away. There she is. Oh, Cubie has joined our cause. There we go. We have unlocked the final character, Cubie herself. That was the last one that we had to unlock in the game. There we go. There's all the bonuses. Um, none of that helps. Nor does that. So we don't really need... Well, we certainly don't need that. And the rest of these are pretty bad. Oh, Typhoon. Absorption? Is that not what we wanted? I think we need absorption. Yeah, absorption times five, that's what we need. So let's get rid of this one. And this one. I don't think we need anything there. Oh, that has got Typhoon on it. Do we already have Typhoon? We do, okay. But um, we'll get rid of the less good ones. So anything that's got a little golden thing on it tends to be things that you want. And we got increased attack as well. And we unlocked Cubie and her fox's wit.